Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Search and Analysis. In today's video, I will give you the tips to trace the wrong entries in the data. There are two methods that could be used to locate the wrong entries in SPSS. Before proceeding further, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please hit and subscribe to get the notification for every new video. So let's talk about two methods. First method is scanning method in which you can just go on through each column and draw one by one and trace the wrong entries. Like this is the data we have. Uh, this is data view, this is variable view. So we, here we are given, I have 34 uh, vari uh, variable views. Um, you can see these are the uh, different items and these are the demographic variables. And this is the data view. So in total we have 40 responses. So in scanning method we just gone through each of the row and column just to trace out the wrong entries. Like if we are moving down, 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 down here, yes, this is a wrong entry. So this is how you can trace the wrong entries in your data. But if we have thousands of responses and hundreds of variable then in that case it may take hours to trace the wrong entries in the data but good thing is we have another tool in spss that could facilitate us to trace the wrong entries and this tool is descriptive statistics so how to use it to trace the wrong entries thus um, you need to go to analyze just click uh, descriptive stat statistics and frequencies and here you can just select so at this stage I'm just ignoring the demographic variable just uh, just selecting all the items which are representing different variables so shift yes and in statistic we only need minimum and maximum we are not interested in any mean mode or other kind of options this continue and okay so this is the data uh, output window and here you can see all the frequencies but we are not interested to uh, look into the frequencies of different uh, items rather we are interested in this particular table and here you can see if you want to trace if there is any missing value from here you can trace so you can see all the responses are just valid yes all are just 40 and in the next row you can see the missing value and here you can see all are just 0000, 0, 0, 0 and yes there is no missing value in our data and after that you can see the minimum and maximum <clears throat> so this is the minimum and maximum against each of our item so from here you can see 144 1 to 44 1 to 5 and so on and we can if we uh, recall that we had uh, five point Likert scale so our values should be uh, between one to five so from here you can trace easily trace that there is a problem in TT1 TT1 and here is uh, the minimum value is one and maximum is 44 that which is problematic so and here we can go proceed it further and yes this TR5 uh, here we can see it is 133 so it is must be a wrong entry and after that we can just look PSC3 and uh, PT5 so what we will do now just look all these problematic items uh, let's first look TT1 which uh, there was a problem of there was just one minimum and 44 was the maximum so let it trace it out where is the problem just select this particular column control F and this option will appear and from here we want to uh, just search 44 okay <clears throat> so you can see it just 
being traced out this is was the wrong entry so it must be we can uh, like uh, look back to our uh, questionnaire and look uh, what's the problem but for sure it's, it's the wrong entry and it must be 4 rather than 44 but most of the time we are just quickly putting all the data so such kind of problems uh, may appear and after that there was a wrong entry in TR5 and here was uh, the maximum value was 33 which, which is which can't possible actually so again control F and from here we need to trace out 33 and yes we have traced out this wrong entry so we can just re simply replace it with three because we know that, know that this is this must, this must be a wrong entry so this is how you can trace the wrong entries in your data and then after tracing that you can just recheck and can, you can replace with the right number so I hope you understand how to trace the problematic or wrong entries in your data. Thanks for watching.